right. And you know what? Sometimes, well, some people used to, used to say, teachers don't work, they are just resting at home, but they don't know the enormous deal of work that we have to do and that we are trying to adapt our system to this new model. Many of us were a online teachers time ago, but it's very different, different because our students were not online students. And so it has been difficult for us to work with them and to help them to get used to this. Okay, so... Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Lily, can, can I speak a little bit with Lily? Oh yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, what kind of teacher are you, Lily? Do you teach in uh, elementary school? Yeah, from, from K to 12. So I give them oh. primary school and high school. Uh, well, uh, I, I like, I really like to teach in university. Uh -huh. And all but of I'm them a student, are in... I'm a student, a master. So I, oh, I, so wow. I think the next year uh, it uh -huh. could be, uh, okay, my, my dream comes true. Uh -huh. Guess what? I was just asking you that because I was um, learning uh, that to be an online teacher, you can be like acting, like making your own character and in a small, in a small goals to fill up. So if you have the class already made, like if you were a clown or something like that, you cap their attention just just focus on, on the topics that we need to check out and at the end of the lesson you just give them some activities to be done and that's how i'm making it because i'm a kindergarten teacher but the other ones the universitarians are different stuff <laughs> thank you for listening no yeah the, the guy the guide always when you give a class is thus so you mm -hmm. need to um you need to keep that desire to learn something new uh -huh. and connect it to make this learning significant learning that's the right. other is the action that that's why i say that because mm -hmm. you need to, to have activities uh, and active convert co uh, even like these conversations exactly. and the last is the satisfaction mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is a uh, the satisfaction to to do a great job the mm -hmm. best my mm -hmm. best mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. wow that's hard job wow congratulations master thank you <laughs> okay. thank you maggie no my pleasure it's okay you know what i'm reading the the messages that Joel is sending to everyone and uh, he says that I know it's hard but it is supposed that you are used to 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 teach aren't you mm -hmm. because of the teaching way is online yeah well as I as we were uh, talking a, a couple of minutes ago we mentioned that most of us are used to work online but um, even in this time there have been mm -hmm. many changes and so we have been trying to adapt many things because right. you know, most of our uh, students were not online students if mm -hmm. working as in two secondary schools in the morning and in the afternoon and they are working in the presential way but nowadays we have to send them some uh, activities to do at home and we have to send them also some videos or some uh, guides to help them because it is mm -hmm. different. Okay, yeah, thank right. you very much. So who's missing? Um, Luis, what about you? What's your experience about this? About um, learning in learning online, teaching online, or yeah, this this switch because of the uh, recession. Mm, okay, well, um, I try to send information to my students in order to to know how to do the things that I'm I'm sending to them. For example, I used to send um, YouTube videos and 
and to check some documentaries and yesterday i i I sent an email and I prepared an activity like um, a mind map, mm -hmm. uh, but mm. usually it, it helps. usually it is something easy for everyone. But if you try to do that kind of work in online, of work online, then it could be some difficult because you need to to use some uh, pages some some programs and i prepare an activity and i said to them you need to send me a mind map and you need to know how to do it so i sent a, a youtube um, tutorial. Uh, tutorial and uh, after that, I sent an, a link for a page in where they can they can learn how to do the mind map and and for free. And I think that is that is going to be a a good experience for them and something challenge for them also. And yes, uh, that that's that's the the kind of activities I try to to be prepared to send to to do for them yeah to do this is this can be very challenging you know what well something that is for me the most challenging that we can face is that uh, at least here in my case well not in my case in the case of Ecatepec for example there are many students who even don't have internet at home they don't have a computer mm -hmm. so it is very complicated because their parents don't know how to read or how to write so it is very difficult that we pretend that parents can help them because it, as mm. they don't know how to read of course they are not going to help them to search into the internet uh, they don't have most of them don't have a cell phone even mm -hmm. because we say all right you don't have a computer oh. but you have a cell phone but no they don't have a cell phone even so it is more complicated than we thought at least in my zone the place where i work where i work uh, we have um, at least 10 cases of students who don't have access to any internet source and the problem is that we are supposed to be giving the same opportunities to all students. So how do you do it if they mm -hmm. don't have the media, if don't, they don't have the, mm -hmm. the way to access to all of those resources? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's a little more complicated, but we are trying exactly. to solve it. Yeah, we are working on it. Well, um, guess what? Today's class is going to be about something so nice also. Today we are going to talk about entertaining. And so the question is this. Let's go to the question. What is the most thing for you? Uh, Lily, in your case, what is the most thing for you? Could you repeat me, please? Oh, yes, of course. What is amusing for you? Okay, what is amusing for me? Um, well, the last class I told you that I like read. So I really like, uh, enjoy the literature and all, all kind of material that teach me something. So that is amusing for me. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much. I like that we have a challenge every day. <laughs> yeah. So, Lily, who's your victim? Uh, Agustin. Thank you very much. <laughs> Guess what, Lily? I am very, very um, connected to literature in English, too. And especially, I've got my 
my reading groups with my students. And I don't know if you have heard about these um, authors. Um, Pam Munoz Ryan, who is an elementary school teacher in California, and Deborah Ellis, who is an author in Canada, and the other one is, well, Pam Munoz Ryan is the author of Esperanza Rising, Becoming Naomi Leon, and Writing Freedom. These three books are very interesting because they talk about girls in their childhood and who have to, to challenge their own, to struggle their lives, specifically after the Mexican Revolution. The second is about traveling from um, Los Angeles to Oaxaca in their festivities in, in Christmas times. And the other one is the first, the first woman who voted in, in North America in the 19th century. And Deborah Ellis write about kids who are in Middle East, like in Afghanistan, and how they, um, they overcome their, their, their war, the war times. So those are the best literature that I can share with, with you. And I love reading in English, specifically aloud. Okay, I, I took notes about it. I'm yeah. going to read it. Awesome. Excellent, thank you very much. Okay, Agustin, who's your victim? What about Luis? Thank you. Thank you, and I enjoy to watch movies, action movies I like a lot. For example, the um, John Wick movies, um, Tom Cruise movies, also crime movies. For example, The Good Father, it's a, oh. a, a classic. Uh -huh. And what else, I, I try to, to listen to music in English. I like mm -hmm. a lot the rock music, Coldplay, Oasis, awesome. and, and other other bands. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to 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 listen to ra English radio station before, and that's was uh, that was um, good for me because I learned a lot and. In listening, I try to 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 listen to listen program listen to programs in English, tutorials also. Mm. Uh, well, I, I uh, that's the kind of things that I enjoy at this moment at home. Excellent, thank you very much, Luis. All right, Luis, who is your victim? My victim to be let me check Agustin, Lili, Carla Carla okay yes okay uh, uh, I one of my hobbies is to uh, go to concerts uh, I love to go to uh, rock concerts so uh, I used to, to do uh, a lot uh, last year uh, but this year uh, uh, I'm trying to save money so mm -hmm. I will not go to too many concerts mm -hmm. um, uh, another thing that I enjoy to do is to go to the to the cinema and um, I, I like to to watch all kind of movies but especially the um, uh, uh, romance mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> and also um, thrillers mm. so that that's uh, are my favorite uh, kind of movies um, Excellent. Thank you very much, Carla. 
That's very nice. All right, so Joel, write to us, please. What is amazing for you? What do you enjoy doing? Okay, and guess what? In the meantime that Joel is writing, uh, I would like to share with you a video. So we are going to comment about it later. Uh, give me a moment mm -hmm. so that I can uh, find the video. Aha, here it is. Hey, video, where are you? Don't hide away. Aha, here it is. So please, could you tell me if you can see the screen? Yeah, can you? Yeah, fine. Excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching the, the video. All right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Give me a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are. A few years ago, I felt like I was stuck in a rut. So I decided to follow in the footsteps of the great American philosopher, Morgan Spurlock, and try something new for 30 days. The idea is actually pretty simple. Think about something you've always wanted to add to your life and try it. Turns out, 30 days is just about the right amount of time oh my. to add a new habit or subtract a habit, like watching the news, from your life. There's a few things that I learned while doing these 30-day challenges. The first was, instead of the months flying by forgotten, the time was much more memorable. This was part of a challenge I did to take a picture every day for a month, and I remember exactly where I was and what I was doing that day. I also noticed that as I started to do more and harder 30-day challenges, my self-confidence grew. I went from desk-dwelling computer nerd to the kind of guy who bikes to work for fun. <laughs> Even last year, I ended up hiking up Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa. <laughs> I would never have been that adventurous before I started my 30-day challenges. <laughs> I also figured out that if you really want something badly enough, you can do anything for 30 days. Have you ever wanted to write a novel? Every November, tens of thousands of people try to write their own 50,000 word novel from scratch in 30 days. It turns out, all you have to do is write 1,667 words a day for a month. So I did. By the way, the secret is not to go to sleep until you've written your words for the day. You might be sleep deprived, but you'll finish your novel. Now, mm. is my book the next great American novel? No, I wrote it in a month. It's awful. <laughs> but for the rest of my life, if I meet John Hodgman at a TED party, I don't have to say, I'm a computer scientist. No, no, if I want to, I can say, I'm a novelist. <laughs> So here's one last thing I'd like to mention. I learned that <laughs> sustainable changes, things I could keep doing, they were more likely to stick. There's nothing wrong with big, crazy challenges. In fact, they're a ton of fun, but they're less likely to stick. When I gave up sugar for 30 days, day 31 looked like this. <laughs> so here's my question to you. What are you waiting for? I guarantee wow. you the next 30 days are going to pass whether you like it or not. So why not think about something you have always wanted to try and give it a shot for the next 30 days. Thanks. All right, thank you very much. So, have you ever tried something amazing, something new, something that you always wanted to do? 
What about you, Carla? Uh, uh, yes, um, actually, um, some months ago, mm -hmm. I, I buy a piano. I bought. I bought. I bought, sorry, <laughs> I bought a piano. Um, oh. Because since I was a, a girl, a, a child, um, I always wanted to learn to, to play the piano, awesome. but um, but my father <laughs> uh, never um, teach me or never uh, pay for classes for me. Never told. So I never had, and I never told. Uh, I never had that opportunity. So uh, now that I am working. Uh, and I am able to buy things for me. Uh, I decided to 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 buy the, the piano. So I um, I installed an application on my uh, tablet. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, this application you you have to pay for a year. Mm -hmm. So uh, I I. I paid for the subscription, but, uh, and I have been practicing, but not like I want, because maybe I, I did, I do like once a week, but um, I need to organize myself and to, to schedule maybe one hour a day or 30 minutes or something like that. 20 a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's something that I want to, to complete. Wow, hey, that's great. Thank you for sharing. And yes, you have to be constant so that you can uh, have that practice and later on mastery, of course. Hey, thank yes, I hope. <laughs> yeah, you will do it. I'm pretty sure of that. So, Carla, who's your victim? Uh, Joel. Excellent. Okay, Joel. Uh, Luis, um, Joel is the one that is... Is writing. Uh, is writing, uh, sorry. Okay, no, it's okay, so... Yeah, it can be Joel or Luis. <laughs> yeah, uh, why not Joel, and in the meantime, when Joel is writing, Luis, please. Okay, here we have a okay. message from Joel. Uh, Joel wrote, from my point of view, I consider the challenges are necessary in life because it is a way to say to myself, don't give up. You can do all the things that you are able to imagine. Wow, beautiful. Thank you very much, Joel. All right, Luis, please. Uh, yes. Um... Um, some years before, some years, a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. um, I wanted to to buy a motorcycle, and that was a wish that I had. And every every day I was thinking on how to save money in order to 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 buy a a, mot a motorcycle. And first of all, I. I bought a jacket, okay, and I remember that I said, uh, well, mm, you have the jacket, now it's missing the motorbike. The motorbike. <laughs> and then um, I, I bought a motorcycle. But I didn't know how to drive it. So when I when I enter in the agency, I didn't know how to 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 get that motorcycle to my home at my home. So I I went with my with one of my friends that he knows how to drive 
a motorcycle and he he helped me he he uh, uh, drive to drove the motorcycle to my home and for almost two weeks the motorcycle was in in the garage because i didn't know how to drive it so mm. one day i said i need to to use it so i i i um, I use the motorcycle and I I I know uh, be, for myself and to drive the motorcycle and then to ride. Now I I I use the motorcycle. You um, ride. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry. You ride it. Motorcycles. I ride it. Yeah, yes, that's correct. Yes, thank you. And I use a motorcycle to to go to my work, to, to go to my job. Hey, that's great. And you know what? To write something, it's so amazing and so amazing. And But when you don't know how to do it, I think it is a double effort. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Wow, you have to be very brave to do it congratulations thank you all right louise so who's your victim lily please thank you okay about the challenges well i told you the challenge is to me as part of my motivation so i think the only thing that can stop you to start a new thing is the fear so I'm afraid about a lot of things, but thinking about the fear is only the gap between the abilities, and the, um, yeah, the abilities, the skills that you have to face the adversity. So I only think in prepare, and I don't think uh, too much to about to start the new things. Only I do it, and uh, well, uh, God bless me. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, hey, you are so brave. You are a very brave woman. Congratulations to you because whenever we have fear of trying something new, many, many times, most of the times, we don't do it. And so uh, somebody told me one day, you have to regret about what you didn't do in life, not about the things that you did. So, yeah, that's for you, Lily, pretty good. Okay, thank you. Lily, <laughs> your victim? Agustin is the next, <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. I, I, thank you very much, Lily. I agree with you and with the guy in the, in the video. Um, we need 30 days to do the best we can every challenge we have thought about. And I want to show you the books I've read. This is Deborah Ellis about kids who have traveled aboard between Afghanistan and France. And these are the ones, Esperanza Rising, which is about the girl in the Mexican Revolution. This is about a guy who wear a, um, Native American, and he needs, she needs to go back in time to, in, to find her ancestors. And this is about three little girls who are stuck in North America and they are undocumented and their father and mother have been lost because of the ice. Okay, this is the book I wrote 10 years ago. And because I am 50 years old, I'm older than every one of you, and since the 18th of March, I've been writing a new book. It's not hard to write, but it's, very, it's harder to publish because it costs us a lot. Like Louis said with his motorcycle, we need, to, or with the piano, we need to save lots of money. And suddenly, as you said before, Lucy, yeah, Lily, we need to jump up just to get into the pool and to start swimming. 
Yeah. Just touch the ring. And then comes the time eventually when we can breathe once again. Ah. This book was sold out 10 years ago. I was not living, not even in Mexico. And it was great. But now I want to make this play to come true, perhaps on September, hopefully, the one that I'm writing now. And I told my students at the university, we are going to perform it because we never know. We never know. These times are hard times. So we need the double of effort to make our dreams come true. Hey, Thank glad you. for you. That's amazing. That's awesome. But you know it's what? Exciting. <laughs> I don't agree with you in a point. You told you well. You said that you are older than anyone in here, but I don't agree because I am older than you. So. <laughs> oh my dear. All right. Well, but you Love know you. what? My respect mm. because to write a book is not any easy task. It is to investigate a lot. It is to uh, write our ideas. It is to edit. And whenever you are going to Absolutely. put it, of course it has been lots of work. All right, thank you very much, mm -hmm. Augustin. Okay, that, who's your victim? That sound like a crisis? Sorry, sorry. That sounds like a crisis of the 50s. So when you yeah, that is, that is exactly. that's exactly. write a book and be a father. Yeah, that's a crisis. That's true. That's <laughs> so great. my next victim is going to be, I think it's, well, Joel has just written us. Luis has just told us, Carla, what about Carla? No, she told us about the piano. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think we're done. Okay. Yes. All right. Guess what? Now let's talk about something different. You know what? I have already observed that most of us um, don't like to play because we think that playing is just for children. And we are adults. We are very interesting people. We are very busy people. But why not to play? To play is a way to learn. Children learn when they play. And so Playing is another way to interact with the others, to have fun, to relax, and to learn from the, the others' wisdom. So my question is this, uh, Carla, if you were a child, or if you decided, not, not if you were a child, if you decided to play, what game or what kind of, of play would you like to do? As a child or? No. As an adult? Uh, okay. Um, uh, I like a lot to play board games. Um, uh, I enjoy playing Scrabble, for example, uh, Jenga, and all these kind of board games. Uh, I really enjoy to play. So um, I think that it's a, a good activity to to be with your family or your friends, to enjoy. It's like a healthy activity and also it helps to to keep your to, your mind uh, busy. So I think that it's a good activity. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Carla, who is your victim? Um, is Lily. Thank you. Okay. When you talk about the games, to play games, well, as a teacher, I told you that without game, you let me without work. Why? Because uh, play games is uh, the way through I can socialize to learn from somebody and teach to someone. So I think it's a, a, a way to, to learn discipline, uh, rules, 
whatever that you want. And even you don't let to be a child. Yeah, that's it. Excellent. Thank you very much, Lily. Lily, who is your victim? Again, Agustin. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I, I was writing that I loved, when I was a kid, I loved playing soccer with my friends. But now in my 50, <laughs> my 50 years crisis, I cannot run because my knees hurt lots too, too much because some some kind of arthritis. And, but I can dance. So I still go to parties and dance a lot. And a lot. When I go dancing, I don't stop. I just drink water and woohoo! And that's what I like doing, interacting with my friends. And, but when I was a teenager and young adult, I loved playing cards and risk and these board games and making puzzles. I really love them. And perhaps these days I'm going to make a puzzle because... They help me to focus, to be relaxed, to... I think, I think when I was playing cards or board games was kind of competition and interacting, competing. But when we are making puzzles, it's not about competing. It's about focusing on what can happen. And it's very, very relaxing. So I'm going to try that. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, your victim. What about um, Kate? Carla? Carla. All right. Thank you. Uh, I already uh, spoke. I don't know. Mm -hmm. what, what would you like doing if you were in playing time. I, I already uh, talked about the board games and... Awesome. Um, these activities. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, yeah, you have already talked to us about it. Yes, thank you, Carla. Hey, Carla, who's your victim? Luis. Awesome. All right. Thank you. And thank you. Why not, Joel? Uh, why don't you write to us also, Joel? Okay, Luis, go ahead. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, when I was a child, I used to practice skateboarding, skating. Mm. And Mm, at that at that moment at that time we didn't know uh, anybody who could teach us some tricks because in my in my zone mm -hmm. there were no no um, people no teenagers or childs who 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 who, who, who children who uh, know that kind of sport mm. so uh, I practice uh, a couple of years mm -hmm. and if I were a child again I would like I would like to know some tricks because when I watch the TV mm -hmm. and I I see some programs about skateboarding and Mm, there are a lot of amazing tricks. Mm. Some some tricks with the table that you could flip, and other things you can jump. Uh, and you can do a lot of things with the skateboard. Mm -hmm. So um, that that is the the sport that I would like to 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 practice again and. I agree with uh, with Agustin. I did when I didn't I didn't know how to dance, so I would like to learn to dance because when I when I am in, in Paris, I could uh, I could dance with my with my friends or with my um, wife because I 
I don't know how to do it. So that's a, a challenge for me that I would like to, 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 to know how to do it. Mm. You know what? That's wonderful. Well, Joel wrote, thank you very much, Miss. I would like to, to comment something about it, but previously to that, I'd like to read what Joel wrote. Joel wrote, pedagogically, the games are an excellent way to learn a language. Besides, it helps in the teaching process. Student, teacher. Wow, that's great. Well, thank you very much, Joel. Uh, you know what I wanted to comment is that I recently knew how my son knew her, his girlfriend. Uh, he said that they were in a, in a party. He doesn't knew in that place. He didn't know how to dance, but now he, he knows how to do it. He said that suddenly he was next to her and he didn't know what to say. The only one thing that he imagined, he, he decided to, to say was, do you want to dance? And she said, yes, but he didn't know how to do it. And so in the moment mm -hmm. he started trying to dance, she realized that she didn't know how to dance. And she asked him, hey, you don't know how to dance. And he said, no, I don't know, but for you, I will learn. Oh, that was so awesome. <laughs> and the second question is that he did, have you read to Habermas? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, and, uh, okay. oh my, <laughs> what a question. <laughs> <laughs> that was so, exactly. so funny. <laughs> That's it. All right. Well, exactly. I don't know. Uh, well, I, I think that this has been a very interesting session because I could learn more from you. And so sometimes we talk about, uh, okay, some different topics, but it's hard uh, to learn from a person if we don't uh, talk about these topics. I want to thank you very much for sharing with me and giving me the opportunity of being more in contact with you and learning from you. And well, I would like to tell you that next week we are not going to have conversation sessions because we are going to have a recess. We are not going to have a any assignation, assignment, I mean, in the platform because of the recess, but the platform is going to be available. If you want to catch up, of course you can do it, but you are not going to have the pressure of having more activities. We are not going to assign any other this next week. I hope that you enjoy your time, that you rest, that you relax, and uh, meet you in 15 days. Thank you. Okay. 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 I, I have a comment and a question. Yes. Mm -hmm. Talking about amusing thing that we enjoy and dance and games, all these kind of things. Uh, Vargas Llosa used to say used to say that uh, the desire, the horizontal desire is like uh, the expression in a vertical way. So that is the dance. Awesome. <laughs> and the question is, I, I need to present my uh, speaking, uh, my speaking exam. So it is possible to do it tonight? Yeah, it's is it? A, yes, of course. Just give me one second so that I can look for the exam. And so give me uh, two minutes, all right? That's okay. And so, well, okay. thank you, everyone. It has been a very nice session. If you want to stay, Lily is going to have her speaking exam. If you don't want to stay, well, we have finished our class today. And thank you very much. Have a very a wonderful vacation. Likewise, thank you very much. Good thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. And I was saying, I, I, I have a um, recommendation about books. It's a book um, from 
Alessandro Bofa. Bofa. The name is uh, You Are an Animal, Bits Go Bits. You he's are... a scientist, but he's a fables. Uh huh. So you need to read it. Can you tell me the name once again, the author? Yeah, Alessandro Bofa. Alessandro Bofa. Is, you are an animal, Bits Go Bits. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find him right now, Aless Alessandro Bofa. Thank you very much. See Have you. a good nice day. You. Nice meeting you too. Okay, excellent. Lily, here we have the exam. Just let me uh, explain to you what are the, the points that we are going to assess. Here it is. Uh, all right. The, um, uh -huh. the aspects that we take into consideration are five. We uh, are going to grade fluency, phonology, vocabulary, grammar, and successful communication. The points that you are going to get for each one is two, uh, when you do it pretty well, 1.5, when you commit mistakes, uh, one, when you commit significant mistakes, uh, 0.5, when you do really, really uh, great mistakes, and zero when we don't understand the word what you say but of course this is not your case it's just because it's a protocol I hope so. <laughs> no it's a protocol we have to mention it but you know that you are great all right no. uh, the rules during no thanks to you the rules during the exams are these number one wait for your turn this is your turn uh, every student will speak about the task during around 10 minutes and later on the teacher will make some questions related to your topic. Uh, if you are not speaking, turn the microphone off. All right, it's okay. You won't see your grade. Your tutor will send it to you in the next report. So in the next, next week I am going to send you uh, your scores from this week and also your speaking exam. All right, so here we go. So, uh, no, this, this one is good for you. I like it very much. So please, Lily, for two minutes, talk about yourself. If I interrupt you, it means that you have consumed your time. If I don't okay. interrupt you, it means that you can continue. All right, let's go ahead. Okay, talking about me, it's a kind of difficult because I'm really a shy person. Well, I think so. I talk too much, but I really am shy. So um, I can tell you about my profession. I'm a teacher, English teacher, actually, uh, in elementary school. So I love my job, it's my passion. I read a lot about it. Uh, I try to practice all the things that I read in my classroom. I try to teach not from the thing that I know, but, uh, uh, but from the, the brain, my student's brain. That is the, the thing. Other thing, uh, well, I'm married. I, um, I, has a do I, ha I have a daughter. My daughter is Odette. Her name is Odette. He, uh, she is uh, 12, years, 12 years old. And um, well, I love, uh, I told you I love to read. My hobbies are um, read, study. Uh, um, actually, I am study the Master of Education. And well, that is, the most of my my life and my personality. Um, I'm so honest, uh, but but I think sometimes I could be um, not the kind of person that I'm going to use some uh, more. Um, well, I'm not the kind of person that you can you can talk the same things because 
I'm going to tell you the truth. And sometimes I used to be cruel, really cruel when you make the, the same mistake. What about, about my, well, about my job? Uh, I am in a school. Yes, that time is over. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. But uh, okay. you, know what? you mentioned something uh, that attracted my attention very much. Uh, you said that sometimes you can be even cruel whenever a person commits a, the, a, the same mistake uh, for repeated times. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say that you are cruel. I think that you are assertive. And so to be assertive is not something so common. Uh, assertive people are a few. Assertive, you you can uh, take this like uh, accurate in the concept, in the uh, advice that you give. But in my case, it's something cruel because you, hey, you came and you tell me the same thing. I told you, I told you what happened with this. So don't bother me, talk to my hand. Yes, I, I am in this way. <laughs> All right. And so tell me, you, you mentioned also uh, that you are married. You told me also classes ago that you are recently married. And so yeah. uh, how do you feel? How do you feel with, uh, well, it, it was something strange because you got married when the crisis started. So I think it is not something <laughs> common. Because instead, well, I'm I'm living, I'm living crisis. I'm living the honeymoon. It's all about oil. Um, thanks God, my husband is a responsible person. Is so kind. Is intelligent. He is a native speaker of the English language, and well, really, really, when over all the things that we have uh, and talk about the mistakes and about the personality, that the bad things, he is awesome. Really, he is awesome. Excellent. So I'm so happy. Excellent. Congratulations to you. You deserve it. You are a great woman. Okay, Lily, thank you very much. Uh, you, maybe you were waiting for a long time just for five minutes, but it, that's all. So thank you very much. I will send you the results in the next report. Of course, they are very good because you are excellent. And well, thank you very much, Lily. Have a very good night and enjoy your vacation time. Thank you to you and say, enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night.